when the students first get here in the morning, they will pick where they're at on the engagement chart. I'm excited for those choices today. We started the year talking about the engagement chart and not pushing them to go to driving. So we really talked about participating is following the directions, um, setting the routine for the day, how they're going to do. Um, the engagement chart has been huge because in the morning it lets you know right away where the students are. So for example, we had the little girl pick um, participating instead of driving or investing and that was not her at all. So I knew right away something, something was up. So it gave me insight of how her day might turn out um, if she needed that extra check-in in the morning and that's, what she, that's all she needed. So once I talked to her, hey, I noticed you picked participating today instead of investing or in driving, what's going on? And so she told me she just wasn't feeling well this morning. So I talked to her a little bit more and I said, okay, how can I help? What could I do? We talked through that a little bit and then she said, you know what, I think I'm gonna ask questions today. I wanna be investing. So then she moved up um, by herself. So that was great. And she was able to verbalize that um, for her peers as well. Ask questions. Okay, so if you wanna ask questions today, which one are you going to be in? There you go, awesome job. All right, how's our day gonna to be today? What kind of things are you gonna be doing today? Okay, well, let's look at it. So where'd you put yourself? Okay. So where, what kind of things are you going to do if that is your engagement chart? Okay, so let's look at it. And driving, what things do we do? We, yep, we set goals and we ask for, remember this word? Feedback. So we asked Ms. Roberts, how am I doing today? What else could I do to make it better? Which one are you going to do today? You're going to set goals? Awesome. I'm excited to hear your goal this morning. Good job. So the continue of engagement is your jumping off point with clarity. We've relayed it back to behavior, but it's not the main focus. So again, we talked about participating is a good thing. And when I talk to parents about it at student conferences, I let them know, and we did student-led conferences. So the students were able to tell their parents, um, I wanna be in driving because I wanna set goals or I want feedback. But we talked about, you know, normally parents are asking, okay, how did my students do today? What how do they act in class? They want to see, are they listening? Are they following directions? Are they being respectful? But letting even parents know, we want them to take a higher step. So the students could tell their parents, um, I'm doing all of this, but I'm seeking feedback. And I had so many parents ask me, okay, what does that really look like in kindergarten? So one of the examples was, um, the one of my students said, I'm investing because I've been asking questions. And his parents said, well, what kind of questions? And he said, well, and he was able to tell them, the example I was going to tell him as well was I was teaching the word to, T-O was our sight word, and he raised his hand and he said, but Ms. Roberts, why haven't I, or why do I see it T-O-O? What does that mean? So that lets me know he's really thinking about his um, learning as well and taking it to that higher level. So the engagement piece is not just behavior. Yes, we can have them reflect, but they're able to tell you now that if they're not setting goals and they're not asking the questions, if they're just focused on their behavior, the behavior is keeping them from reaching their full academic potential. So we can ask them, go check in on the engagement chart, see where you are and see if you need to make a change. It's not ever a negative thing. And they'll tell you, oh, I'm not asking questions or I'm not seeking feedback. I'm actually disrupting my friends, so I need to move down. And then as soon as we see them doing what they need to do, they will move themselves back up. So they're able, it's a continuum throughout the day. It's moving up and down um, when needed. Most of the time, whenever they pick driving, they stay in driving and they're, they're able to tell you why. But for those that need that extra reinforcement, it's been really neat to see them kind of move their person and read the questions and see and then move up and down.